is modern day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth. Now, they move among us. Only one top secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by squadron leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, special agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tenganu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. Just look at it, Amanda. 37 square miles. Millions of specimens. For a botanist, it's heaven on earth. Hmm, your backyard is certainly more exciting than mine, Adam. The only scenery I get back home is cactus and tumbleweed. A whole world of growth. Reclaimed from salt water. Do you realize what that means? We can harvest the sea. We can feed the world. <laughs> After all these years, Adam, you're still trying to recruit me? They called us the research team supreme. I know we really can change the world this time around. Adam, you've got something that you're not telling me. Better I show you. I trust you packed your hiking boots. I imagine the Bureau still keeps you busy, though why you stayed all these years still stumps me. You couldn't stand the anonymity. Adam, I mean, you were as dedicated to Earth's safety as I was, as I am. The greatest threats to our planet aren't out there somewhere. They're right here. Dwindling resources, ecological destruction, worldwide hunger. But I am on the verge of ending them. And every person on the planet will know who to thank, Dr. Adam Edens. Oh, my. my corn crop came in rather nicely this year, don't you think? I don't know what to think. Uh, Dr. Edens, Zucker's reporting a problem with a satellite dish. Details? Negative. He's on his way over to meet you. He sounded hyper. He usually does. Over and out. Problem, Adam? Uh, doubt it. Zucker is our communications officer. Good man, but high strung. They look like they're out of some fairy tale. How did you do this? <laughs> With magic beans? I'd hoped you'd be in France. Dr. Edens! Dr. Edens! Oh, he sounds terrified. Something must have him spooked. He panicked last month when we lost our TV signal for two hours. Go, Doctor, go! Go back to the compound now! Zucker! Doctor Ames! Doctor Ames! Oh! 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 Adam! Adam! What's happening? Amanda, get back in here! Adam! Amanda! Adam! Load all personnel into the exit tunnels. This is a cold red evacuation. Code red? Understood, Doctor. Adam, you've got a lot of explaining to do. I've never laid eyes on that specimen before. I have no idea where it came from. Adam, stop this thing! Some kind of trouble with the satellite dish. Isn't that what Zucker said? Oh, no. They've probably done in the phone lines, too. That means we're completely cut off from the outside world.
compound's automatic distress signal was triggered less than two hours ago. All efforts to re-establish contact with the Genesis Jungle facility have failed. What about Dr. Faulkner? She's down there on a research assignment with that Dr. Edens. <laughs> Lots of luck. Whatever she finds, he'll claim he found it first. You got that right. Dr. E is a world-class credit hog. Have the orbiters been any help? Negative. A heavy overcast over Central America precludes all satellite surveillance. So we're going in blind. Oh, this just gets better and better. Major V, what's the time frame? You have eight hours to evacuate the survivors. At that point, Genesis Jungle will be neutralized. I must be missing something here. That's a level five response. A bit much, don't you think? I think you're an agent with an assignment. Understood. Remember, Team 22Z, eight hours. Good luck. Hurry up, people. This is a cold, red evacuation. <sighs> it must be over 100 degrees out here. Where are we going? You're going with them. Now just follow them to the exit tunnels. You'll be fine. What about the team? There's something I have to take care of. Oh, no, you don't. I'm going with you. I was hoping you'd say that. Sarge, this is weird. We're getting a scrambled call from Major V. Top priority. Now, why would he scramble a call to us? Unless he's about to tell us something he shouldn't. Team 22Z, there is something you must know. The plant life in Genesis Jungle was a gift to our world from an extraterrestrial source. It held the promise of ending world hunger. But now... But now, you figure, with the SOS, maybe the deal's gone sour? If the alien source does have a darker intention, it must be stopped in the Genesis Jungle. There is no recall code for the squadron sent to level the jungle. If you are not out in time, then we're not coming out at all. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Good luck, Team 22Z. Commander, picture it. Resources to build shelters. A world without hunger. It's a dream. Our dream come true. You saw the size of the corn crop, and early hybrids of other grains are just as outstanding. Yes, but I also saw what carried off Zucker, and nearly carried me off, and also took out the communications dish. I will concede crossbreeding the alien spores may have spawned a few freak mutations, but man's greatest triumphs often come at a high cost. The setbacks are troublesome, but no reason to abandon my work. All my precious brood, those wondrous spores of theirs, hold the promise of a better tomorrow for us all. Check this out. Somebody's put a lid on the Genesis jungle. What are we looking at here, Sanderson? It's some sort of crystalline matrix. It's tough stuff, but we should be able to punch through it. <laughs> no problem. Just let me put on my boxing gloves. Marcus, your standby. Keep the Ultra Veers on alert. Pull a few weeds for me, guys. Sarge, we've got three hours and 49 minutes to clear everyone out. Let's dig in. Feel that heat. It's like a sauna in here. That webbing's amplified the sunlight to near lethal levels for normal plant life. What's supposed to grow in such a hostile environment? It sure wasn't the jumbo corn. We've got company all around the clock. Those are some nasty looking weeds. Pattern 14, back to back. Take them out. Now. Got you first. Batman! Ugh. This one's got me! No, it doesn't! Elemental Morph, steal you! Cover your six o'clock! You want a piece of this? 
Sanderson, analyze what's left and tell me how we're going to stop a whole jungle of them. On it, Sarge. Hold on. I'm sensing something. What is it, Casey? More EBEs? No. Humans. 30 feet below us. There's terror. Complete panic. Could be survivors. Hiding out in an underground cave? Taylor, come with me. Sanderson, Tranganu, sweep the perimeter, then rendezvous with us at the main complex. Roger. Initiating Road Gunner's mole configuration now. Let's dig in. they think of next a jungle with its own escape tunnel is anyone hurt everyone's okay sir scared to pieces but okay thanks has everyone been evacuated everyone except dr eaton's and a uh, dr faulkner the system shows dr eaton's used an emergency override code to get past the automatic lockdown in the labs i'm getting them out how do we get into the labs back through the tunnel that way but it's dangerous sir you trained on one of these you got less than two hours get everyone out of here now go. Yes, sir. Come on, Case. I got a bad feeling about this. Whoa. Interesting. These husks are still moist. That means whatever they spawned can't be far off. Stand back while I toast them. No, don't. Don't you get it? How are we supposed to learn about anything if all you want to do is blow it all away? Back off, surfer boy. No, you back off. If you can't get past what some aliens did to your first squad, then you shouldn't be on this. Uh oh I want to watch you stuff that thing in a test tube, dude. No, move. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, yes, I do. Come and get it. Move. Move. No. Ah! 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 Blow Genesis Jungle off the map? My work here is more important than you or any human being. Adam! On your feet or on your back, Doc. One way or the other, you're coming with us. No one can stop me. My work will change the world. Then we have a new problem. No, get it away from me. It's aloe vera. It's good for burns. Ah! Hey, that helps. <laughs> Thanks. I think we got a break. You're gonna hurt, but any closer to that thing and you'd be in really rough shape. Sarge? Sergeant Sanderson. Moose? I've got a bad feeling about this. They're gonna take out the building with us in it. Incoming! Look out! No! Keep your heads down! I know what they want. It's the brood. They're after the brood. We must protect them at all costs. The brood? The original plants the alien source left us. Their spores have produced everything in the Genesis jungle. Without them, I'd have nothing. Marcus, we have a situation in here. I'm on my way. Track my comm signal. Pan down 100 meters and lay in a wide swath of short burst pulse fire. Locking in on your coordinates now, Sarge. Hope they get a charge out of this.
Good work, Marcus. We just got signal, Sarge. Everyone's safely out of there. Uh, except for you. Sarge, we've got less than 33 minutes. Odds are those plants have overrun the evac tunnel by now. We'll need ground transportation. I saw a truck in the garage. I'm not going anywhere. Not without them. Your decision, Doctor. We've barely got 15 minutes to get out of here, Sarge. Sanderson, turn gun, get on. Moose, what happened? Sanderson and I had a tactical disagreement. My way lost. There, that's where we came in. It looks like we don't get out of here without a fight. And believe me, they know how to fight dirty. Yeah, but we know how to fight smart. Casey, you drive. What? Give that back! Give it back to me! Babe, what are you doing? Everyone, look! That's it, Casey. Slow and steady. Slow, sir. The strike force is due in 15 minutes. You tricked me! You allowed me to bring the brood so you could use them as pawns! You assumed that if you threatened the brood, the others wouldn't attack us! Whatever it takes to get my team out of here. You misjudged them, Sergeant. Their reaction to your threat only proves these are highly intelligent life forms. You know, Doctor, you may be right. Marcus, recall the strike force. Tell them to cancel the incendiary strike. Sarge, they don't have a recall code. We can't call them off. You have to get out of there now. What if the point of this rampage is to force a major combat strike? That's preposterous! Why would an alien species want us to blow them up? The blast is sending live spores into the air. Millions of them. If a full-scale bomb run destroys the park and all the alien plants... We'll be spreading new spores into the atmosphere by the billions. All over the Earth. An invasion. It... it was a trick. The aliens deceived me from the start. What have I done? Move it, team. The strike force is closing in. But they can respond to a change in payload. Ten seconds till impact. Bingo. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Instead of explosives, they're dropping super cold liquid nitrogen. Enough to freeze dry the alien plants and their invasion plans. Marcus, take the helm. Dr. Edens and I were once a team, you know. We were going to save the world. You know, Amanda, I think you just did. Just look at it, Amanda. It's a dream. Our dream come true. Come true. 